All right, today I'm doing uh, Becky. It's a 2020 movie. Uh, I watched it the other day at my dad's house. It stars Kevin James, Joel McHale, and a newcomer called Lulu Wilson. And it's basically these guys escape from prison. And Kevin James in this plays kind of the leader of the guys that escape from prison. And he's like a skinhead, Aryan Brotherhood killer. And if this was the first movie you saw with Kevin James, you would never think that he was a, a comic actor. Which is the reason I was really excited to see this movie, was to see the guy from King of Queens and the guy who played Paul Blart Mall Cop playing like a psycho. So... Anyway, they escape from prison. Meanwhile, Joel McHale's daughter, Becky, played by Lulu Wilson, you can just tell she's troubled. She's just unruly, acts up, has an attitude. So Joel McHale is kind of in the house with his new wife and, and kid. And Becky's like way out in the woods in her little clubhouse when... Kevin James and his band of escaped convicts come there looking for something, looking for a key that I guess Kevin James had left there before he went to jail. It never tells you what the key goes to, but it's the MacGuffin of the movie. That's what uh, Kevin James and his guys want to get. So, of course, they take Joe McHale and the, and the wife and kid uh, hostage, and... They find out Becky has the key or knows where the key is. And the rest of the movie is them trying to get Becky and get the key from her. And her just going full on slasher almost and taking out these these people. Now, when I heard that was the premise, I was just like, oh, how are you going to buy like this little girl taking out these these uh, convicts, but they keep it pretty believable. There's like a, a, a ex wrestler that's one of the guys that escaped from prison, this giant dude. And like me and my dad both were like, if she takes this dude out, unless she shoots him, hits him with a car, or rigs up some really good Rube Goldberg machine that cuts his head off or something there's how she, how are we gonna believe she took this guy out i'm not gonna tell you what happens but the movie does it's smart it takes that into consideration and they they handle that believably and that earned the movie a lot of of credit in my book that and kevin james like playing this part with any humor in it's dark humor. It's not the silly Paul Blart uh, humor we're used to from him. I wouldn't put him on the level of Robin Williams in um, Goodwill Hunting, but as his first outing is as like a serious character and a killer at that, and a you know a psycho, I'd say Kevin James nailed it. And this movie being a B title that didn't go to theaters, you would think it'd just be shot simple simplistically it just be straightforward but there's some stuff this 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 team does with the camera that i i really like like there's a scene where kevin james is talking to becky on a walkie talkie and they could have just did like a cut you see kevin james talking cut you see her talking but they did it in a way where they would move the camera to the side and it looked like kevin james was at the edge of the woods and it looked like becky was just right there in the woods like he's looking at her because they would just swing left to right back and forth between them like they were standing right there and it, it it was just a good way to shoot that scene make it visually interesting in a, in a dialogue scene there's not much uh downside to this movie i'd say one of the main things is there's a couple times the director tried to make becky a little more creepy like she says a poem and at one point she's singing the song and I mean, you could just tell that that they're trying a little too hard, but that's really my only complaint about the movie. And just for that, I think I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I mean, for a B title coming out in the time where, you know, theater movies are scarce, they're just now starting to come back, this is definitely one of those, 
you can find at the video store. Pull it off the shelf and you'll enjoy it if you enjoy this kind of movie. It is, I wouldn't call it horror, but it's definitely got some gore in it. So be ready for that. But it's all practical effects, which I really dig. So yeah, 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really like this movie. Uh, please like, comment, and share my videos. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thanks for tuning in.